Yes. Well, we are now here with the happy scientist, Robert Cramp. Robert, thank you for being on the show today. Glad to be here. Yeah, so I hear, uh, I hear you're kind of into science a little bit. Oh, a lot. Yeah. And so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. We're going to start with okay. energy. There's a lot of energy in the room. We talk about energy all the time. I feel it. Well, we're going to start by looking at energy. I get a little energy out there. Okay. I like energy drinks. You like vault? You like oh, yes. Yeah. So we're going to start with a simple experiment on energy. Okay. Step over here. Oh, sure. Got a basketball and a tennis ball. Some oh, people call it the hand. rock. Have you ever heard that before? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. One in each hand. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is drop the two balls and see how high they bounce. Try and catch them. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm good both that. bounce about the same height. But that doesn't mean they both have the same amount of energy. Mm -hmm. The basketball is bigger, it's heavier, so it takes more energy to lift it. Right. Well, what if we could transfer the energy from the basketball to the tennis ball? I hear that. There's a simple way to do that. I made a collar of duct tape on the top, placed the tennis ball up there, okay. and now you're going to drop both. And when you do, a lot of the energy from the basketball will tr be transferred to the tennis ball. Basketball is only going to bounce about that high, but the tennis ball should do something very different. Okay, let's try it out. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. I'll try that again? Yeah, sure. Watch out for flying balls, guys. See if you can hit the guy in the third Maybe you're row used back to that. there. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. Try it out again. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Nice yelp. Yeah. Okay. So, we can transfer energy from one object to another. That's what it was. Okay. Energy is all around us. We can do all sorts of things with energy. What else can we do with energy? Everything has energy, including oranges. Mm. Now, there's a lot of food value in there. But yeah, I was, also e I was eating these before, if that was okay, I don't know. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. There's also energy in the peel. And mm. so what we're going to do is get some of the energy out of the orange peel. And to do that, it's a simple thing that you can do. You light a candle. <laughs> Best way to light a candle. <laughs> and then you take the orange peel and just hold it close to the flame and give it a good hard squeeze. Whoa. And when you do, you get a nice little flash of flame. That's pretty cool. Wow. Now, what we're doing is actually getting oil of orange out of there. Mm -hmm. That's what gives the orange that nice smell. I use it on my hair. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> it kind of gives it the color. That oil of orange hmm. is flammable. Now, if we had Can we, we try it? Sure. sure. Okay. Get you a chunk here. Let's pull this off. Um, Let's see if you can do it better this time. Yeah. Rehearsal is a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> try another piece. Try another piece? Okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> go nuts, I guess. Whoa! There we go. All right. All right. All right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, if we had a big bowl full of oil of orange and stuck a match in it, it wouldn't burn. Right. The reason this not. burns is because it's a very fine spray, and by making the pieces smaller, they burn better. Right. We can see that in a different smaller way. Smaller is better, that's for oh, sure. Oh, that's that's one, <laughs> one time it is. Now, we can take this piece of wood and hold it in the candle flame. It's not going to burn. Nothing happening there. Great big piece of wood, not a lot of heat. No. But big. what if we made the piece of wood smaller? What if we powdered that wood up microscopically small? If the pieces were very small, it takes a lot less heat to get them to burn. This is called lycopodium powder. It's actually spores from a club moss. You get it at magic stores. It's called dragon's breath if you buy it there. Sounds like but a scary. Chemically, scary it's exactly the same breath. as the, the wood. <laughs> okay. But by taking the small pieces and putting them in the flame, yeah. we get a nice burst of flame. Whoa! Whoa. Try That's it. like, yeah, I want to try that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> really cool stuff. Now, you can mm, do other cool. things with it. That's what they do in the magic shows, but there's another trick that you can we'll do with there. a bowl of water. I'll make a little mess here. That's okay. It's okay. We're going to take a few coins and put them in the bowl of water. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now, mine. Are you going to give me those? The trick, oh, yes. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, maybe. Uh, the trick is to get those out of the bowl without getting your fingers wet. Now, if you stick your hand in there, you're obviously going to get your fingers wet. Well, Unless yeah, we take some of this the dragon's breath, the lycopodium, and make a nice layer of that on the surface of the water. Okay. The nice thing about this stuff is each one of those tiny little particles is covered now with a very, very thin layer of wax. I didn't know we were cooking. I would have oh. brought my smock. <laughs> oh, you should have. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, just wait. Should it I gets worse. Bring the whisk. Stick your fingers in there and pick up one of those quarters. Just uh, And what you will find wow. is that your fingers stay dry. No. Oh, didn't get wet. <laughs> Same as my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, all the tiny little particles coated your, your hand, acted just like a glove. Yeah. Kept the water off your skin. I smell that. Yeah. Now, okay. we That's talked cool. about water, we've talked about flame. Now it's time to put them both together. And to do that, we're going to start oh. with a balloon. Okay. 
I like I like putting <laughs> balloons up for parties and stuff like that. Is this uh, no. kind of like a science party, right? What would happen if we held the balloon in the candle flame? Um, probably break. Probably right? pop, right? I'm thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna do it just a little bit different. We're going to make a water balloon. Cool. Should I get my floaties on? Get ready for it. <laughs> raincoat would help. Oh, raincoat. Okay. Oh, that one broke. Let's get go. a different one. The last one. Always carry a spare. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Fits pretty well, yeah. All right. Now. Well, these aren't the lubed ones. <laughs> what would happen if we held the water balloon over the candle? Well, let's find uh, out. Ah, you know I just got a perm, right? Oh, that's okay. We'll, we'll improve it. Anything happening? No. What we find is that nothing happens. Oh. The water absorbs that heat energy so quickly, the balloon never gets hot enough to melt. If we had enough time, we could actually boil the water inside the balloon without like, popping maybe it. Maybe like ramen noodles or something exactly. like that. Exactly. <laughs> put a little, put put a little soup in there, you'd be all set. Mm. Science is delicious. I would agree. Yeah, thanks for clapping. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. So all sorts of fun stuff. This is, all, this is all energy, all science. Who knew? Right? And all fun stuff, all stuff you can do at home. That's one of the things that I really try and get people to do, is to do it yourself, to, to do science at home. It's fun stuff. You can do all sorts of cool, amazing stuff. Yeah, this is really fun. I mean, is there any other experiments you're thinking about doing? Or? Well, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to set you on fire. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, you're going to set me on fire. Yeah, we're going to set your hand on fire, just like they do in the movies. All right. Nice big flames. Yeah. Well, you heard them, guys. Uh, I'm going to be set on fire when we come back for the break. Um, remember, this. your parents told you not to light yourself on fire before. Well, we're going to forget about that when you do it. <laughs> on Off the Wire. So I guess stick around. We're going to be right back. Woo!